Welcome to another installment of 5 Minute Tones. On today's video, I want to share four amps that I think sound fantastic at the stock settings in the Axe FX3 and the FM3. Before we do that, I'm using this LT TV Mix 2 cabinet impulse that I made of my Marshall cabinet with greenbacks. This one you can get for free from the Fractal Exchange. So you can go and download that, load it up and play along. I'm also using the London Plate Reverb on the ultra high quality, pretty much at the stock settings. All I've done is turn the mix down to 10%. All right, the first amp, and this is probably my favorite clean amp in the FM3 at the moment, is the Band Commander. Totally stock settings on the parallel modes on this PRS. I think I'm on number four on the rotary dial. Beautiful clean sound. <laughs> Beautiful stuff, right? With all of this, I'm gonna offer maybe just one tweak suggestion. With this guitar, which is pretty bright, I would just go in and turn the bright switch off on this particular model. Let's hear that. <laughs> And that kind of takes the spikiness out with this guitar. Again, your mileage may vary. I should say a big thank you to Alex, AKA Yek. He does so much work with his amp and pedal guides for the Axe FX and FM3, as well as the Fractal Wiki. He actually suggests the Band Commander and one of the other amps that I'm gonna feature in a minute as just two great amps at the stock settings to basically dial up and get a feel for the FM3 if you're new to it, or if you just kind of want a new texture or something, try these, I think it sounds fantastic. Let's hear a slightly crunchier amp. I'm gonna use the AC20 12AX7 treble model. Again, stock settings, let's hear it. <laughs> Again, on this parallel mode, I would probably turn the bright switch off. But I think it sounds great with the bright switch on, on the humbucker mode on this particular guitar. This is just a great rock. <laughs> Wonderful for anything kind of bluesy or rootsy or basically where you don't need to like totally crush everyone's skull with gain. The AC20 is a beautiful amp at the stock settings. Again, bright switch on and off. It sounds fantastic. Let's go to amp number three. And this is one of those amp models that's like worth the price of entry alone on the FM3 and the Axe FX3, the Friedman BE. I'm using version one and I'm in drop D, I'm on the bridge pickup and I could do this for five hours. This is wonderful. <laughs> That's just a great high gain rock sound. The one tweak I would suggest is uh, play around with the preamp boost built into the amp block. I really like the CC boost, but you can try out a whole bunch of other flavors. Let's kick that one on. <laughs> Glorious, I love that. Let's kick it up another notch though and let's go super mega high gain. We're gonna use one of the Fractal exclusive models. This is the FAS Modern. This to me is like the best rectifier ever and the best 5150 ever had a baby and it turned out 
perfect. Have a listen to this. <laughs> I love that so much. Again, I would probably suggest adding a preamp boost and maybe turning down this input drive. So let's bring the input drive down. Let's add, oh, I don't know, the grinder boost and let's crank the boost level up. You can see I was already playing around with this and this just really tightens it up and sends it next level. It's amazing. <laughs> So good. So there are four amp models that I think sound fantastic at stock settings in the FM3, but I would love to know what are some of your favorite amps that you just basically drop into a preset and they immediately sound awesome with no tweaking. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.